I'm testing two medium coverage foundations that are more of a high end on my over 50 skin. Hi, I'm Glory B, and this is Glory B TV, a lifestyle channel for mature women who want to look fabulous, feel amazing, and age gracefully. Well, as we age, foundations that used to work for us when we were younger don't necessarily work for us later. Sometimes I like a very full coverage foundation, and I have some other videos where I'm going to be testing out different ones together in the same video. But in this one, I'm testing medium coverage in the past, I might have called these full coverage, but there are some that are more full coverage than these. So one of them, especially in a lot of my older videos I talk about, I've been wearing it for a long time. They marketed it in the 70s and 80s to and 90s to women over 40, just the whole line, the makeup and skincare, and it's called Emlyn. I have a couple different colors of this. They don't have a lot of colors, but their colors are not orangey, which is kind of nice. And then I also have the Clinique Even Better Foundation. This one comes in lots of colors. You can test it out at many stores that carry Clinique to see which color you might want to check out. It comes in a plastic bottle. And what I'm going to do is I will put it on on camera then I'll show you what it looks like with the full makeup and then I'll test it in the middle of the day and talk about how it's wearing and toward the end of the day. Now, I know that a lot of you, especially if you're watching on a phone, you might not know how to get to the description box below the video, which is where all the products, in these two plus everything else that I'm wearing is going to be in the description box. So if you're watching on a phone, you want to go below the video on the right side there's a little V. Tap the little V and that opens up the description box. All the links are there as you scroll through. If you're, if you're watching on a computer, go below the video. On the left side, there's the word show more. Click those words show more and that opens up the description box. Just go through and click whatever you want to check out. Now the one thing about Emlyn is <laughs> it's one of the best brands you never heard of. Um, first of all, they were kind of localized in the 70s, 80s, and 90s at Marshall Fields only. And then Marshall Fields was bought out by Macy's or they were kicking Emlyn out. And then they were at Saks Fifth Avenue for a little while. And then they weren't even there. So now they sell it online. But they don't work with social media influencers. And I once talked <laughs> with a woman in customer service about this. She's like... We're on social media. She didn't even know what I meant. She thought I meant you guys should be on social media. And they are. But they don't work with influencers. So they don't have lots of people out there trying their products and promoting their brand. And they really need to do that. But in the description box, I do have a coupon code for um, some money off on your first order. So they did do that. But it's only good on your first order. So without further ado, we're first going to test the Emlyn and then we will test the Clinique and let's get right to it. Well, I made a mistake and didn't turn on my microphone. So I'm going to do a voiceover for this. Now I have the, uh, the Emlyn in two colors. Here I'm holding up a travel size that I once got as a promotion. That is the darker color, the second color they have called Burnished Fawn. And the glass bottle I held up is Burnished Ivory. I'm gonna do the Burnished Fawn today, which I usually only wear in the summer, but sometimes the lighter colors of foundation on camera just look crazy light. Now, I, what I'm saying here is I decided to not do my under eye correction cream by Pixie. I just wanna see in all these foundation tests that I'm going to do, how they look without. And again, this is more of a medium coverage foundation. I used to use it more as, I called it full coverage, but now I have some that are even more full coverage. So this I like to just um, smear around my face and then take a brush. This is an e.l.f. brush that is linked in the description box below. I love this brush. I just recently bought a second one because my first one had been washed so many times it started to give me little pieces of brush on my face. So I'm just gently 
brushing and buffing it out before I take a good look at it in the mirror. The brush is so nice because instead of being a wet sponge, a wet sponge can pick up product and um, this kind of brush doesn't really leave a brush mark anywhere like some brushes do. I'm not so much bringing it down my neck, just whatever's left over on the brush, I'm just buffing it out. And um, yeah, this kind of brush gets a really nice buff out at the edges. And of course, I'm most concerned about those pores throughout the day that are on either side of my nose. So I'm taking a 10x mirror here and looking at it and it actually looked really good compared to some other foundations on my face. Cause you notice I'm not wearing a primer. I'm not doing a primer in any of these tests. So now I'm going to use my phone to get a close up for you. Let's do this. So you can get some close up there with my studio lights. You can see how it's not sitting on top of the pores. So I think that's what I love about this. Well, here we are doing a voiceover. So I decided on camera just for the Semlin one, I'm going to do the Tarte Tape Shape Concealer. On the others, I'm gonna do it off camera. And this is a little lighter. I'll have the color in the description box below. I think it's 20B. And this one, after tapping it right below my eyes, I do use a damp beauty blender type of sponge. But the one that I have is from e.l.f., which I don't mind buying because it doesn't cost much. And it's slightly damp, just from washing it the day before. And you see I'm just tapping it in lightly, and it nicely dissolves. And I wanted you to see this. I do this in other videos of mine and how I set it because when we see the close up later on, I wanted you to see what was on top of the foundation in this area. It's just going to help you understand what's there. So, it's not just foundation. I'm just I'm just not doing the under eye correction. All right. So, that is um, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, here's where I'm going to set it. I'm going to take some Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Spray it on the back of my hand. Take my ring finger, dip it in it just a little bit, and lightly tap it in that area. And do the other eye. Lightly tap it in that area. I'm going to keep tapping with that finger until it feels mostly dry. Oh, and here I go. <laughs> I'm going to have to narrate that whole thing, am I not? Oh my gosh, it's been a morning. My camera has shut down on me too. Okay, I'm tapping this until it's almost dry. Then I'm going to take some translucent powder. This is the one from IT Cosmetics by Bay Pores. And I believe this is another e.l.f. brush. And I'm just going to put a little bit on here. Just the tiniest amount. And let's take a close up. Whoops. With this camera, so you can see. Let's see, get some good light here. How that looks in my eyes. Close up. Now I'm going to put on the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. I'm back with a full face of makeup. I thought I'd move the camera a little closer so that you can see my skin a little more closely. And it's still morning. And here is further away. Now when I was in front of my makeup mirror, which has different lighting, I was seeing a little bit of cakiness under here. But like I said, following the eye surgery, I am having more dryness around here. So I think my skin, after I'm not doing the drops anymore, um, or a lot less, because they gradually go down to a smaller number of drops, and then it's four weeks of drops. Then um, my skincare regimen and my diet just needs to take over, and my 
my Mac needs to stop dinging while I'm filming. Um, so in the next clip, it's going to be later today outside. It's actually a sunny day, so we'll get some bright sunshine on my face, and I'll use my iPhone for that. So that's the next clip. Hey, everybody. It's too cold to go outside. <laughs> There's snow on the ground. So I'm just going to stand in front of a window, but I am in front of the sun. So I'll zoom in to my big nose here and see if you can see how the makeup looks. So my, <laughs> even with eye surgery, I can't see it real close up. So I'm going to have to look at this in editing. And that's my phone making a shadow. And, um, but I'll look at it in a mirror. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon right now. So yeah, so this is mid to late afternoon and we'll do one more check later on this evening. It's 6.45, I'm checking my foundation now because I'm going out and when I get back, I'm gonna to be too tired to do this. So I looked in the makeup mirror in a 10X mirror and it still looks pretty much like it did earlier today. So that's really good. I'm gonna put some video up here. I just took some of uh, using my iPhone really close to my face and the bright studio lights. So yeah, the Emlyn, the Emlyn does really, really well. I just wish that they knew how to work with social media influencers instead of just posting a little bit of their own stuff on social media. But you want to check the description box below. They also have a discount for first time buyers. I also buy what they call the under eye cover cream. And I use that now as a highlighter. Years ago, I did use it under my eyes, but it's an excellent highlighter that'll last for like four years and stay creamy the entire time. So let's get to my next high end medium coverage foundation. On the second comparison, I have the Clinique Even Better Foundation in the color Breeze. Oh, I'm getting a late start today. And clip my hair back. And it's pretty thick, so I don't really need to shake it. It's in a plastic bottle. It comes in a tube. There we go. Okay. I'm going to dot this on. Smear it around a little bit. Just like with the Emlyn, I'm not applying my regular under eye corrector. But I will be doing the shape tape on top of it. But off camera. Okay, just turn this around a little bit. I still have my brush. And I love this brush. <clears throat> All right. So looking at my monitor, this is more of a Rosy color, a lighter rosy color, but they have a ton of colors. And most Ulta's have re or have um, Clinique, and of course most department stores, and you can go test them out. If you're in a store that has windows, that's better. I mean, for years in my 20s, I would try or test out colors of foundations in department stores inside the store in their lighting and I get it home and I'm like this isn't right so anyway all right let's get some close up well actually let me look at it first so okay so this this looks good so far <clears throat> in the pores where I have the bigger pores so you notice I'm not doing any kind of primer I just want to see how it does on its own um so it's not, it's not suddenly, like, you don't, I'm not getting that look like you get sometimes where, you know, it's sitting on top of the pores and you can see it defining the pores. Here, turn and get a couple little lights. So my pores are on either side of my nose. That's where they're biggest. You see the forehead, chin. All right, so... And I can't stop my MacBook Pro from dinging. 
If anybody knows how to do that, please let me know. I've gone into preferences. I went into all the applications. I turned off all the sounds, all the notifications, and it's still dinging. After it did some kind of update, and now it's dinging <laughs> all the time. And I'm not getting any kind of, anyway, I don't like notifications, except for my phone ringing when someone calls or letting me know when I have a text, which even that's silent right now on the phone. So anyway, we're going to check later in the afternoon. What, no, actually, first I'm going to come back with a full face of makeup so you can see what it looks like with a full face of makeup. Dinging. I'm glad that the Mac agrees. And then later in the afternoon, we'll do another close up and then I'll let you know how it looks later in the day. Here is a finished look with the Clinique Even Better Foundation. And in my next clip, it'll be later this afternoon, probably use, well, using my iPhone in some daylight instead of studio lights. Well, this isn't outside, is it? No, it's not. I got on a call and by the time I got off, it was dark outside, so we missed that. <laughs> so here I am panned in a little bit. I also checked in my makeup mirror and my 10X mirror and I'm getting some stuff in my pores in here, but I'm also looking kind of red in here. So let's see. Also check with my um, cell phone, my iPhone. So you can see a little closer what I got going on here. So it's not looking as good as the Emlyn did later in the day. It's actually 6.30 now, so <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> this is what happens when you get in your 60s. 6.30 used to be like the middle of the day for me. It's not anymore. It's like it's almost bedtime. Yay. Um, so let's pan back for a second. So between these two for medium coverage, I think the Emlyn did better, which maybe doesn't surprise me. I've been wearing it for a lot of years, and it really is one of my favorites, and I always go back to it and think, oh, this looks so good in the morning, and it looks good in the afternoon, and yeah. So Clinique is a close second, though, and you can test out the color. They have a lot more colors in Clinique, even better. Are they hugely different from each other? No. And I might... It might have just been the phone call I was on. We were covering so many intense um, online topics, and maybe I just got flustered, and maybe that's what happened to my cheeks here. And maybe if the days had been switched, they the Emily might have performed the same way. I don't know. But you want to go below the video and to the description box and check these out. Go into a local store and check this one out, the, the Clinique and see which one you like better. I think they're both wonderful though for over 50 skin. And I'm gonna continue wearing the Clinique because I don't have every day where I'm plotting on the side of my face. So check out one of my other videos on foundation. Some of them I'm testing two, some of them I'm testing three. One of the videos on the right side of your screen and I'll see you in the next video.